I'm here with Hans Neiman, who is now on four and a half points. And uh, Hans, how about you just uh, quickly just take me through your game and uh, show me the sauce how you did all of it? Sure. So e4, c5, or three knight c6. We got a Sveshnikov. And uh, he went for this c3 line. And uh, after rook b8, he played a4, which is not a great move. Um, I assume he mixed the lines. The main line is, is bishop g5, a4, and there's. Then then a, a4, knight c, c4 is theoretical line, but. Uh... Or maybe it's bishop g5 with rook b8 as well. Yeah, I guess it's. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's like knight c2, bishop g5, and then a4, yeah. So he mixed it, and here he started to spiral knight before tick tick. Yeah, I thought, of course he has to play a c before. Um, but I remember bishop b seven, rook a four, and I think queen c eight is very strong. I couldn't remember the details, but um, yeah, I could even take and go queen c seven. But then there might be bishop a six, queen c one, queen d one, queen b two. Anyways, it should all be fine. But I think queen c8 is the best move. Or the, but I think after that, there is some knight of six. And it, I think it's it, it becomes a draw somehow, but I couldn't remember the details. But he plays knight before, which is quite a nice gift. Here's what does the computer say? Yeah, already it's quite bad now. Well, yeah, he should have played bishop a6. Um, and take tank and then after rook b2 there are four moves to consider there's um there's castles there's queen a4 there's rook a4 and there's also knight b4 first which was which was interesting um but i've missed this yeah i guess i have queen a5 now and then rook a8 so the point after castles was to play um there's also there's, yeah there's queen a5 and i thought of rook a4 there was even like bishop g5 Castles bishop d2 maybe, or I'm just stupid, yeah. Okay, I guess it's better to analyze without the engine, so I look less like an idiot. Um, yeah, so he, 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 I don't know, I think with white it's easy to lose control, especially when you don't realize how bad it is, because I certainly, yeah, this was a critical moment, yeah, d5 and rook a7. So I was calculating rook a7, and the point was after bishop e2, um, I thought queen b6. But the problem, yes, was queen b4, queen c6, and queen a4, and it was a repetition. Um, so I was trying to make this work. And okay, I guess I suppose it shows queen a8. Castles, bishop e4, g3, and this is an edge. Um, but I was trying to make it work. Um, I also considered queen e7, b4, bishop e4. I don't know. Uh, the two bishops are strong, but... And this B pawn is also very annoying. So I was struggling, but uh, eventually I, I took quite a bit of time here. Um, and I realized, okay, you know, I think D5 is just the most classical way to approach it. Just get the kings in the center, two moves from developing, you have to be concrete. Queen E7, Bishop E2, D. Yeah, I guess I should have maybe taken first, but take, take, uh, E3. So this was, I guess, the critical... Oh, he has to find knight c5. Wow, that's that's very difficult. So I guess what I did was fine. It's just that... Um, knight c5, yeah. Because rook a3, I thought queen b6, yeah? And then and then rook f8, and then rook... And then b4. Wow, now d4 is strong. I consider d4. Wow. Oh, now rook a3. Oh my god, yeah, this position is so ridiculous. Anyways. So yeah, he has to find knight c5. Oh, wait, no, not the engine just went from 0.3 to 1.7, okay. So I guess what I did was correct. If knight c5 is... Okay, no, no. So what I did was correct then, okay, e3, yeah, because if it takes... The point is that, okay, queen b6, but now I have bishop a8. Um, also, bishop e4 might be, might be stronger. But after, let's say, bishop e4, um, uh, the rook on a3 is quite awkward, and, and rook b7 is coming, and then uh, e3 is going to fall. 
and then BT is going to fall, and then everything is just going to collapse. So I was quite pleased about this e3 move, and then he played f3, e4, and uh, the point after f4 is that I play, uh, I thought bishop takes c3. Oh my god, I'm just too fancy, yeah? Okay, I guess I, I was just, I was just uh, a bit too ambitious. Okay, I thought I was a genius with bishop takes c3, but now I see there's queen b6. But yeah, okay, also bishop a6. Rook b7, and then rook b8, yeah. Oops. And then take on b7, take, take. And then b2 falls, c3 falls. Yeah, should be lost. But uh, it was clear that he had missed, uh, he had lost control after f3. And he also, he spent, he, he played it relatively quickly. Um, but I think, I think this position is very difficult to play as white because it's so complex and uh, there's so many tactics, the things you have to be aware of. So f3, e4, okay. I, uh, I thought, I didn't think he was going to take an f4 anyways, but yeah, this bishop takes a6. He told me after the game, but, uh, and then I told him bishop takes c3, and then he was like, oh, I missed that. So I guess we're equally both wrong. But yeah, queen e4, yeah, this is just over. Take, take, rook, yeah, the knight on a6 and rook on a3, the, the coordination is just so bad. Yeah, queen d6 was a nice touch. Um, um, because the threat is just rook e6. Um, so he plays rook f5, I go queen d2, and yeah, rook a6 was quite a nice move. So queen takes e2, or if rook takes check. I've seen and then queen e3. So okay, it was I think a decent game. The only place where maybe I could have improved was was uh I don't know. I think I think what I what I played was fine because it's an extremely complex position. It was very hard to calculate and evaluate at the same time. Um oh, I suppose, yeah. But um I think I think it was pretty good practical play. See, tomorrow you're gonna have uh, white against Grandmaster Garguli. Uh, how are you feeling about that matchup? Good. Feeling good. Just happy to to not draw a game. <laughs> yeah, obviously coming off on your first win, and uh, we hope to see you back tomorrow. Thanks, Hans. Thank you.